Welcome to Built on Faith Homestead, where we like to talk about things like tiny houses, um, raising your own animals, right, wild edibles, growing gardens, and uh, the things of the Lord, all encompassed into our videos most of the time. If that's something that sounds interesting, we encourage you to stick along. But today, we are installing a mini split air conditioning and heating system for our da -da -da -da, tiny house. Um, it is hot uh, in Missouri. It went from 55, 55, 50 degrees somewhere in there to 90 on like on like a Saturday. It was like 50 and on like a Monday it was 90 and I needed some dry weather Because I had to pour a little concrete pad for our mini split system and a couple other things and we just wasn't getting it and um, We finally got the dry weather, but with the dry weather came the heat and it is hot um, So I'm trying to get this mini split system installed. Uh, I've never installed a mini split system I'm gonna bring you guys along with me today I tried to do a video on um, doing that little concrete pad outside and I did it on our video camera and I'm trying to find a good editing software on the laptop. So that video may come, it'll be way out of order and all of that, but hopefully we can get that situated and figured out. So this I'm gonna record on my phone once again, which means I cannot hold my phone and work at the same time. That's just not doable. But I'll kind of show you guys what we got going on. All right. Of course, I got all some of my tools in here. Um, essential today. Got us a fan blowing on the work area where I'm working because it's hot and I'm a big fat polar bear. Here is our indoor unit. It is upside down, just sitting in the chair right now, uh, waiting to get uh, mounted. The wife and kids are down at their um, grandma's, uh, and so we are going to start trying to get some of this stuff done. Here is the mounting bracket. Some of the wiring, some of the parts and pieces, those kinds of things. This is another one of those things. Um, it come with a book, an installation guide uh, that I've been reading through some just to try to make sure I don't mess it up too awful bad. Uh, but it's fairly simple and straightforward. Um, once again, something you can probably do yourself. Uh, I'm not a very, um, I would not consider myself a very smart individual. Uh, more of a uh, somebody that can just work hard uh, and get through some things right um, but uh, I read through the instruction book it looks pretty easy and so we're going to install this that's kind of one of their sales pitches is that they are um, kind of DIY friendly and so it's a uh, mini split system is a ductless a ductless heating and cooling system so it's just got the one unit that blows out heat or air um, I wanted to do both I know we have the wood stove that we primarily heat with but uh, sometimes, uh, if we're going to be gone for a long period of time of an evening or something like that, or if I'm doing a revival a long ways away, something like that, uh, it's nice to have something to just keep the chill off the house that way when you come home. However, our new wood stove seems to hold heat really, really well, so I don't know that that's going to be a problem. But just in case, right, maybe, I don't know, maybe we take a vacation in the fall or winter and I can't come in or whatever, we can at least use this to keep the chill off the house. And uh, I'll show you all that I've done so far as far as the work goes. So on the inside, all I have done is I've cut the trim out of the way that I had up there, and I'm going to, and I drew, because uh, it's very, it's going to be a really tight fit, so I drew on the wall there with pencil kind of the outline of that mini split system. I also marked the holes where the bracket's going to go, and I did a line down there at the bottom. Um, I held the bracket and leveled everything, and I drew those lines, that way I don't have to hold the level and the bracket and the screws and all that good stuff, right? Um, it can just I can just line everything up and it should be level and good to go So that's kind of what we're looking at here. I eventually will have to drill a big hole through the wall a three inch hole through the wall uh, To get to uh, the outdoor unit as well, but that's it I don't have to I don't have any duct work. I have to run or anything like that and this is rated um, For some to cool somewhere around 600 square foot um, Which our house is just a little bit bigger than that uh, but with the lofts but everything's wide open. There's not really any walls or any way it has to really go um, to keep us uh, cool in like a crazy spot in the house or nothing like that. It's all basically one big room. So uh, it should work just fine, I think. Uh, so we'll get it hooked up here. The system I'm using, um, I am not sponsored by or anything like that at Lowe's, but it's an AUX um, mini split system from Lowe's. Um, they have went up in price because I, I was reading online about them while ago once again and that they, they actually they went up a hundred dollars the reason part of the reason why we went with this mini split system is i understand they're supposed to be very efficient they're supposed to work very very well and um 
by the time we paid for a window unit that would do something close to what this unit will do they were it was about the same money now i got one of the cheap mini splits and i may pay for that in the long run however um the more expensive ones i can buy two of these cheap ones for so i don't know we'll try it out we'll see what happens if it doesn't work it doesn't work i guess but uh, I think it'll probably work just fine, and we will get everything installed. So, if that's something that sounds interesting to you, come along with us, and we'll sweat together today. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I uh, wanted to give you a quick update. Put on the cowboy hat because it's out here in the sun where our outdoor unit is for this mini split system. And I want to show you guys kind of... Um, <clears throat> what we've done and and i'll kind of take you few through a few of the steps and uh, nothing complicated so far this has been a real easy uh little deal i've got the instruction book out I'm just kind of glancing at it as i go to make sure i'm following it fairly close um and i'll talk about a little bit of what i like and what i don't like so far and all that good stuff and i'll show you so here's our outdoor unit of course i got the tools out still there's a little concrete pad we poured to set the unit on the other day uh tools kind of ignore all that if you would uh got the wiring got it all wired up um got the lines ran i gotta draw a vacuum on those i'm undecided yet if i'm gonna try to go buy the stuff to do that myself or if i'm gonna call an hvac guy and have them come out still need to wire in the disconnect um <clears throat> the drain hose coming out all right so you guys air conditioning systems at your house uh has water uh that it produces so it draws humidity out of the air and as it draws that humidity out it condensates and makes water right now uh the hose i wish it was longer i'm not gonna lie it's a pretty short little hose there uh coming out of our building big old hole in there i'm gonna have to i got some stuff to fill in fill it in with and all that good stuff but this hose is pretty short but what i'm thinking is I remember when I was younger, my dad catching the, we had a um, basement in the house he lived in and he would catch the water that ran out of his uh, air conditioning unit, um, out of the air handler inside in the basement. He would catch that water and use it like on the garden or the water flowers or whatever. And I'm thinking that's going to work pretty good, pretty close anyway, for a five gallon bucket. And that's probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch the water. Uh, that'll do a couple of things that'll get the water away from the tiny house and that will be some free water we can use on the garden or what have you i reckon it'll be fine it's just like it's basically rain right it's humidity inside the house and then it'll condensate and run out that drain pipe uh, but we'll have to do something to make it where it don't flip and flop and go crazy all over the place here i'll have to put a couple little mounts on it or something but that's still yet to come um Obviously, the, the the free online ain't just going to dangle there. We'll get all that situated. Um, but so far, it's been really simple. The wires have all been marked. Um, so the wiring's been really easy. Um, the instruction book um, leaves a few steps out here and there, probably, that it probably should include for somebody that uh, has really never done anything like this. But if you've not ever done any sort of like plumbing or electrical work at all, uh, I would recommend probably not doing this um, yourself, or maybe you could, right? If this video would have been more informative, you probably could have. Um, but I don't have any real HVAC experience. I worked for a heating and cooling guy for a couple years, um, but I'm no HVAC tech, right? Uh, basically, it was when I was in high school, and uh, I was just the gopher and the lifter of heavy things. He was kind of a little guy, uh, and I was great big, and uh, we had a pretty good system. I lifted all the heavy stuff. And he did all the technical work. Um, but, um, so I, I don't really have any technical experience in HVAC systems. Um, but a little bit of wiring knowledge, a little bit of plumbing knowledge even maybe. Um, a little bit of construction knowledge. Go a long way to helping you out. If you don't have that knowledge, you could still probably do this. If I'm just being honest with you. If you just slowed down and paid attention, um, you could probably still do it yourself. But, I'll show you what the indoor unit's looking like so far. Excludes the mess. It is a mess in here right now. Uh, from me working but i'll show you guys so here is the indoor unit um pretty simple the air is going to come out this is going to come down air will come out of it um, in order to access the wires 
So like the instruction book, right? Uh, it didn't show, it did not show where the wiring for this was at. Uh, it, it just didn't show it. So I just kept snooping around until I found it, uh, which didn't take very long. Unscrewed it there. Once again, got it all wired up on the inside. Here's our outdoor hole. Once again, have to seal all that up. Comes with a nifty little cover plate that breaks in half, so you don't have to run all your stuff through the cover plate and then through the wall, and I'll show you guys that later. But um, once again, all the wires were marked. Um, they weren't color-coded. It wasn't like red wire to this screw, right? It was like L to L screw, N to N screw, S to S screw, and then G to ground. So um, something like that, which made it pretty simple, once again. Um, got the mounting bracket up. Uh, and then pushed this on um, If you're not uh, a Fairly stout into I mean you don't gotta be super strong, but if you're not a fairly stout individual It's got these cool little Latches up there that work like a kickstand to keep this open when you're doing stuff in here, which is kind of neat Let's see if we can there we go Close that Won't break nothing just got the thing don't want to break it um, if you're not a fairly stout individual, you probably don't want to be lifting on this by yourself. It'd probably be best to have a second hand around. It's not overly heavy, uh, but it does weigh a little bit. And to get it onto those mounting brackets, I had to kind of hold it with one hand and uh, figure out where the, have my head up against the wall and figure out where the brackets are and kind of help guide it in and that kind of stuff. Um, but it's on there and it's solid. It ain't going nowhere. So uh, we'll take that and... Um, we're just going to finish up now. We've got to get the disconnect wired in, and uh, we're going to do some of the cleanup work, and we'll show you guys what that looks like whenever it's all done, and uh, we'll decide if we're going to go buy the equipment to run a vacuum on it ourselves, or if I'm going to call somebody. Uh, probably ought to look it up and see how much that vacuum equipment is and see if I can buy it uh, locally or not. Anyhow, we'll bring you guys back in just a little bit. All right, y'all. So here's what we see on the inside of the house. Here is the mini split. Very clean, very sharp looking um, thing here. So I'm pretty excited to see it work. We'll show you the outside here in just a bit. Uh, but I had to run to town to get some uh, anchor bolts to hold that um, outside unit down. And I thought, well, I'm in town. I'll see if they got any, anybody's got a vacuum pump and some gauges. So I can just vacuum it myself and we could have air conditioning tonight. How awesome would that be? It would have been great, but I couldn't find anybody that had the stuff. I went to a few different places in town. Nobody had it. Um, somebody could order it for me. Uh, and it was going to be rather expensive and uh, it's going to be next week. So uh, we're going to have to call an HVAC uh, professional to come down and uh, vacuum out the lines and all that good stuff. And um, put these gauges on it, vacuum it out. Um, get a negative pressure on those lines so we don't have any air in our system. Lots of Freon, right? Be good to go. Um, but uh, we will have to hire that out. Um, I don't guess we have to. Could have ordered that stuff, but it was going to be really expensive and be next week before I got it from there. And um, it was just uh, not worth doing. Maybe I'll look on Amazon. Maybe I should look on Amazon to see if they got the stuff. Why don't we do that whenever we're done? With the outside stuff before we call somebody to come do it um because what i'm thinking is i don't know how much it cost an hvac guy uh to have him come and run a vacuum on our stuff i don't know how much that would cost um if i had to guess uh it's probably 150 dollars just to show up um and then i don't know what they'd call show me for the work or what they would do for the work um charge me for the work and so what i'm thinking is if I can get the stuff to do it myself at like $200, it's probably worth just getting the stuff and do it myself. And I'll never use the tools again, but I guess if I got them and anybody ever needs them, I'll have them, right? So, I'll look on Amazon, see what I can find. <laughs> and I might be able to get it pretty quick. That would be awesome. So we'll do that. We'll go outside. We'll finish up the outside, get it cleaned up, and I'll show you what it looks like. Cleaned up, doctored up, and looking pretty, hopefully. Back outside, wrapping up the outdoor unit, and it calls for um, some rubber between the unit and the concrete where it mounts to the concrete to help with the vibration. Now, uh, I didn't have any uh, 
you know, probably the right pieces of rubber. But here's what I do have. That old dump wagon I got, tires have come apart. And this fell off the other day. And I should have thrown it away, but I didn't. And now I'm glad I didn't. So I'm going to slice this into chunks, and it's going to be my rubber vibration stopping piece. All right, guys. Uh, almost there on the outside part, and we will show you guys the rest of it. Buttoned up pretty good, as good as it's going to be for today. I want to show you guys uh, kind of what the end result looks like. It's not the prettiest thing in the whole wide world, but uh, it ain't the ugliest either, and it will... Uh, hopefully work uh, we still have to vacuum the lines and those kinds of things um and uh before we have air conditioning but it's all there set up and ready to use and we'll show you guys kind of what we did here's our outdoor unit um just poured that little concrete pad anchor bolted it in it's good to go here are our lines running down the side of the house um expanding foam up there i still have to pretty that up um, but it's at least sealed up and we will doctor it up and pretty it up later uh, so it's not as big of an eyesore uh, um drain line this is all the drain line it came with i'm going to see if i can find some more uh, to attach to this to make it a little bit longer but i think what i'm going to do is something like that where it runs down into a bucket and then i will take the water that the air conditioner makes by dehumidifying the air in the house. I'll take that water and I'll use it to water my garden or something like that. Um, I did not have any of the proper straps, um, but I did have some of this from hanging our sewer line underneath the house. And so I thought, well, that'll probably work good enough. And sure enough, it did. And so it runs down. Everything's just kind of zip tied together. It runs down to our outdoor unit i kind of crossed wires there uh, i wish i'd have been paying a little more attention when i did that uh, hi sissy i wish i'd have been paying more attention when i did that but you know it is what it is it won't hurt nothing um and then here is our disconnect um so basically if you're unfamiliar with how this all works uh power is running through the wall runs into this this disconnect is basically a big old disconnect it's just what it's called basically uh, it's got a paddle thing in there you can pull out if you're having an issue but the power runs in runs into this box runs into um, this outdoor unit and then from the outdoor unit it actually runs back in and up this up this electric wire uh, into the house into the indoor unit um, and so that's kind of the the wiring how the wiring works out i done checked my electric i've got power where i should have power and i don't have power where i shouldn't have power so that's always good um but basically this is what you're looking at as far as the outdoor unit goes um obviously um i poured my pad and should have been paying more attention i'm about six foot further to the right than i should have been uh i should have uh, made it a little further to the left but I was trying to get out of that great big kind of dip in the ground. Uh, that was going to make it a lot harder to pour my pad. Um, hindsight being 2020, should have moved it over a little bit. One of the things I like to do after doing a project like this, I've never done this before. I have never installed a mini split system in my entire life. This would be the first time. I told you guys earlier, uh, the only HVAC experience I really have is working for a guy for a couple of summers, uh, carrying heavy stuff, and I made a lot of duck work and stuff. Uh, but I never did any of the um, installs or none of that kind of stuff. Uh, so this is really my first go with anything like this. There's some things I wish I'd have done better. Some things I wish I would have known getting into it. But all in all, uh, I, I would count it a fairly successful uh, project. Of course, we won't know how successful till I vacuum the lines and turn everything on. If it cools the house down, it'll be successful. If it heats the house in the wintertime, it'll be successful. Um... On a scale of like one to ten, how hard is it to install your own mini split system? Um, one being like, can you dig a hole with a shovel? And ten being like, you really probably ought to hire it out. Um, and if you don't hire it out, uh, whatever job you're doing, uh, your buddy better that's helping you better do that for a living, right? Um, I would say this is about a maybe a six, right? It's not complicated. It wasn't hard. Um, some things, like I said, I could have done better, but. 
um, at the end of the day, as long as it does what it's supposed to, it really doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> however, yeah, I would say probably about a six, a little bit of wiring, a little bit of electrical involved, um, those kinds of things, planning ahead, uh, especially those kinds of things. So maybe about a six, but it is doable. And a big reason why we do these shows, do these videos, we want you to know that stuff's doable, that you can do it. So um, we will catch up to you guys next time after it is running. We will give you an update.